Uh, you know, I think everyone left Truist and came out here to the battery. You got some fans. <laughs> Tonight. Honestly, it was an amazing experience. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I hope we can get back here next year because world champions, baby! Okay, crowd's getting rowdy. <laughs> okay, okay, what do hey, you got? Let me tell you something. No. We the A. We come for this, all right? Yeah. If you ain't first, you're last! Okay. Okay. It's exciting. All right, Savannah, thank you. We'll take it right back here. We appreciate it. Great seeing the energy and the enthusiasm out there. So much of it. Mm -hmm. I, I, we just talked about how this season has gone for the Braves. Who would have imagined that this is where we are right now? No, I mean, hey, look. I mean, they, they, they had a hard time getting over 500. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think a lot of people, you know, sort of dismiss them. Not, a, yeah. not, not only a fan base thinking, well, you know, They've got too many injuries. They've had some bad luck, yeah. bad misfortune. They'll sort of reload and get ready for 2022. But I think a lot of people around Major League Baseball, particularly around the All-Star break, I, I think they thought they were, you know, they were Toast. dead in the water. Yeah. Uh, and, and uh, you know, this is why we follow sports. This is oh, yeah. why sports you never has know. great meaning. And, and these stories that happen were oftentimes, you know, I, I think about some of the best teams of the 1990s were Braves teams that, that didn't win. I mean, the 1995 Braves team was, was great, world champions, but not the best Braves team of the era. Best teams don't always win. Those teams that get hot, as Freddie Freeman talked, where they got hot, they got on a roll, they believed they were going to win, and they had that incredible camaraderie inside the clubhouse, which was you know, really led by Brian Snitker. I mean, this is what happened when they all came together, all on the same page, and they got hot and just never stopped. I know these images from the end of the game there. You can just see the elation on all of these players. They've got their new hats. They've got their new shirts proclaiming that they are the world champions. And Jeff, you know, you were talking about how they were, it was a struggle to get hot. Well, Freddie Freeman told our Maria Martin, it doesn't matter anymore. We are where we are. And you see them hoisting that trophy. And this is going to be something that is just incredible for the city. But it is, it is a great part of the narrative. Uh, yeah. th this narrative of never giving up, never quitting, mm -hmm. despite the hand that you've been dealt. You Next know, man up, too. It, it's one of the reasons that we really like to follow sports, because there are very few places in American life where you can see an underdog, and the Braves certainly were an underdog with their inability to get above 500 and where they were <laughs> at the All-Star break. And, and to, to come along and to come around and to come together and, and win this world championship only makes it sweeter and more important. Yeah, look at Snicker's face right there. I mean, I think that says it all. 